Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Mad God Machinations. I am, of course, Mad God. Today we're playing a bit of RimWorld because everyone seems to be playing RimWorld. I actually had a 17 part series recorded and then it turned out the entire first five parts were all buggered up. So I had to start again. So here we are. Hello. Um, I hope you're all well. I think it's been really fun. I've clocked in about 16 hours so far in RimWorld. I am not an expert in this game. Far from it, all my playthroughs so far have ended badly. And by badly, I mean a lot of people died. Like, a lot, so many graves had to be dug. <laughs> um, so, um, I have still a little bit of time to set up. So we've got me, Hummel, and Blue. Uh, the three of you will wake in, uh, in your crypto sleep, crypto sleep uh, sarcophagi to the sound of sirens and ripping metal. You barely get to the escape pods before the ship is torn apart. Who knew? Sometime later, you land on this unknown room world. Who knew? As pieces of the shredded starship fall around you, you start make pl making plans to survive. Ah, so... There we are. Uh, this game has a really strong uh, prison architect feel to it. Um, it's been around for quite a while, uh, so you you probably you probably heard RimWorld mentioned. I am in a mountainous place, it would appear, which is kind of good. Um, I've set this to uh, Cassandra as the classic sort of storyteller at normal difficulty rough, so I think this should be fairly decent. I'm not, as I said, I'm not good at this game by any stretch of the imagination, but this should be fun. The great thing about mountains is we don't have to worry about a lot of people getting to us. So right now, if anyone comes in here, here, yeah, there's only like two ways to get to me right now, if I stay here, which I don't know if I will or not. Um, I need a plan. So yeah, much like Prison Architect, uh, you have to, oh, hello, I want some of that. Um, what I'm doing right now is just taking that moment to scan the environment to see if there's anything, any goodies around that I can have. Hello. Uh, hello. Anything for me? Do you have anything for me? No, 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 no. Yeah, so the point of the game is to survive. Build up a colony much, um, a bit like Planet Base, only these people actually do what you tell them to do. Urgh. I will never stop being annoyed about that. <laughs> that, is, uh, that is a thing. So I'll introduce you to the, the characters. We have me, Mad God. I am a male colonist, I'm 26. I am a child spy and a paramilitary agent. Um, I've got all these skills. I have got uh, one of the mods that let you customize people because I wanted to get this right for me. I'm capable of nothing. I'm a fast walker and I'm optimistic because I feel like I'm a cheery chap. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm also gonna get, since I'm quite good at shooting, I'm going to get this gun. We also have Hummel, uh, Christian Hummel Par Parin. He is a tinkerer and an engineer. He's incapable of working with plants. Uh, he's 26 as well. I didn't actually tweak him. I just let him go. Uh, he's heat, heat tolerant, so he likes the heat. Um, he prefers to be hot. And we have Jova Blue Christian. So we have Christian and Christian, which shows how little I actually bother to customize everyone else. She's incapable of being artistic and she's psychically sensitive. She was a shopkeeper and a human computer. She really likes to research and cook. Apparently, the little fiery things uh, show their passion. So, uh, if you're passionate about something, you'll want to, you'll learn faster. You'll level up how to do stuff. So, he really likes to craft, construct things, and work with animals, which is lovely. Um, she loves researching, likes cooking, and like social. I like to construct things, like socializing, and like to shoot things because I'm a power military agent, and that that's fun. So, who's actually the second best shot? Blue. Uh, I want to give you. I believe we have a gun. There you go. Uh, Hummel, congratulations. You get the knife. <laughs> Sucks to be you, dude. So I keep things paused for the moment, mainly because I need to get everything. All. I don't want them doing stuff while I'm trying to get all geared up and ready to go. So there's a lot of resource management in the game, uh, as you'll probably already get governed by me clicking on all these resources. And we're going to have to do a bit of planning. Uh, so, a bit of pause time. I've also now recalled that I haven't actually set my timer, so this video may go slightly over my normal 20 minutes. I do apologize. Or not, if you're actually quite happy about that. <laughs> it's all up to you. If you only wanted to be here for 20 minutes, I apologize. But, timer's now going. Cool. Um, so, the geothermal vents may come in handy down the line. I can't use them straight away. There are three of us. I normally start the games off, uh, there's a mode where you essentially start off by yourself, just one person. I uh, usually send Mad God in, and things tend to go wrong. I, I've started to notice a pattern for me, so I thought I would break the cycle. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to start here. I like here, it's nice, it's open. Um, yeah, I think I could work with this. I think, yeah. 
two steam geysers in the future. Hmm. So, we'll need to get to building and also stuff. So, we've got a ton of menus, as you can see, loads of stuff going on down here. But, 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 first thing we're going to need is beds because everyone needs someone to sleep. So, structure, a wall. We'll build our stuff initially out of wood because I'm not a fucking moron. <laughs> Uh, and things will they'll, they'll, they'll grow and what we're gonna need to do is hmm, Just trying to think of where I want everything. I want to keep my stockpiles fairly out of the way But in good spots, so if I go here, this is actually quite clear. So maybe here's the best bit um, So you can sort of, you may, if you've played Prison Architect, you may be immediately seeing the sort of vibe, the familiar sort of, um, I remember that sort of style kind of thing going on. Okay. Okay, you're probably wondering what the fuck I'm doing right now, but it all will become apparent in a few minutes. So I'm going to put this here, I'm going to put this here. I'm going to put, where do I want my front door to be? Uh, we'll put the front door here for now. Okay. So this is going to be our first kind of stuff. Uh, furniture, we're going to need some beds. So we'll build some wooden beds to begin with. Uh, in here is going to be our prison bed. In here is going to be our medical bed. And then we're going to get a few other beds set up for colonists. Right now we only three colonists, so I'm set up four just for the crack of it. Okay, next, now we've got beds. We've got doors, we've got walls. And this will, they, these guys will quickly go to this. Uh, we're going to need zones. Because there's stuff we need to do. First, we're going to need a stockpile. Because this is going to be where we dump all our things. So I'm going to set this. It's a fairly large stockpile. I grant you that. It is fairly hefty. Um, this room may go through a lot of changes as we sort of tweak things and get things ready. But for now, I like this. So we got, that's our stockpile. In this stockpile, what we can have is all of this stuff. Chunks. Uh, won't be necessary for the meantime. Corpses. Won't really be necessary for the meantime, so we'll turn off corpses. Uh, down the line, I intend to build a fridge to store any things that will biodegrade and that kind of nonsense. Uh, you can sort of see, probably at this point, from my normal blind playthroughs, uh, if you're familiar with the channel, if you're brand new, hello. If you're familiar, you'll be thinking, wow, you actually seem to know what you're kind of doing. I don't, but <laughs> I'm trying to act smart. Uh, it's, it's, it's my new mental attitude. Oh, there's some stuff as well. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to build out here. This will be my... Ah, do I want to build this way or do I want to be build this way? I may want to build this way. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so. Over here will be our farming place. One, two, three, four, five... We'll go... Seven by seven. I like that. Seven by seven. Seven by seven. Um... Bollocks, I didn't plan that out at all. <laughs> Immediately fucked up. Well done, me. Seven by seven. And seven by seven. Cool. So these are going to be our farms. And we can plant various different things. I didn't bother to check to see if we could actually... Can we grow healwood? No, we can't grow medicine by ourselves. Which is a mistake on my part. I did not realise that was a thing. I should have planned for that. So our first is going to be some potatoes. And here we're going to grow some corn. And here we're going to grow some rice. And here we're going to grow some cotton. Cotton, obviously, we're not going to eat. We're going to use that to manufacture things down the line. How good is our, actually, uh, blue character uh, growing? You're incapable of it. I'm okay at it. So, yeah, we're going to need a lot of training or a get find somebody who can actually teach us how to grow things. So, uh, into our work. This is, at the moment... This just says this is what you will do. If this is required, you will do this. And based on the priority of it. Um, so, I kind of need everyone to do everything right now, just in case. Um, once we get a fourth person, I will turn this on to numbers. Which will sort of be a bit... We'll get to that. We'll get to that. So, now I'm going to unpause. Hit it up to two speed. And my guys are going to quickly get to work, because uh, they have jobs to do. Build a room. See? Need colonist beds. I'm already ahead. Oh, look at them go. And I like building, so I should be in, having the time of my fucking life right now. Hummel failed at life. Um, 
we should probably set this uh, orders chop wood let's get rid of all these trees please thank you we don't have so much um, interesting priorities these people have uh, this is going to be medical Guys, come on. So quickly, we've forgotten about <laughs> we forgot about constructing because we've decided now is the time to plant all our trees. So this is sort of getting our food production going. A lot of this is getting that automation kind of a sense. Um, you're going to want to sort of make sure you've got food coming in. You've got medicine ideally being grown. You've got that kind of um, workflows just going quite nicely. So right now, Mad God and Blue are planting all the crops that we're going to need to survive. Um, This is literally just uh, to set us up. Um, this will probably change a lot shape because uh, uh, people like big rooms. They like to feel comfortable. And if they're in cramped conditions, they'll complain. They'll feel a bit more upset. If they get too upset and too stressed, ooh, things get a bit touchy, shall we say? Needless to say. Um, This could have been handy if, say, we were down in here. We could have set up like a little uh, trap. But right now, security is going to be an issue. If you set, set go in by yourself, you actually get given automated turrets as like a starting technology, mainly because you're a rich fucker. Uh, and secondly, just in case, pretty just because you're by yourself and it's not really fair. With two of us, we do have two guns. Um, we are going to need to set up security, which will be it's a thing you have to consider. And. It can't, later on, it'll start quite easily uh, because people, they won't really be trying to be one or two. Down the line, after a couple of weeks, a couple of months, people start bringing grenade launchers to take you out. Um, yeah. And as you can probably guess, grenade launchers get a bit sore on people. Uh, there is social, so as you can see, I, I'm actually getting quite... Savannah? Who the fuck is Savannah? <gasps> we have a monkey! That's awesome. Uh, so we have a pet monkey that came with us, which is pretty goddamn cool. Um, I'm just going to assign these beds. Uh, set owner, Hummel. Set owner, Blue. Set owner, Mad God. There we go. So now we have a bed. Admittedly, we didn't bother to finish the fucking walls because we're busy planting the stuff. Where is... Where the fuck is Hummel? All, oh, he, so he's picking up all that stuff I found. Uh, which should help. Up here you can see our sort of resources. Admittedly, I have a big red number hanging over that as well, so it's kind of hard to see that number. Uh, I'll assume it's grand, though. Oh. New lovers! Mad God! Oh, shit, that was fast. I work quickly, ladies and gentlemen. I am now boinking blue. Um, so, one of the first things we're going to do once we get the base camp set up is to build a nice bedroom with a double bed for blue and Mad God to do that thing that couples do. If you're underage, uh, you should probably leave. <laughs> if you're under the age of where well, this might be a problem for me talking about this, hmm, maybe consider some things. The monkey, oh, the monkey's in between us. Oh, that's adorable. Bloody monkey getting in my way. So right now we're sleeping outside, which isn't good. We don't have roofs over our heads, which is bad. Um, this will probably be a hallway. And I'll convert this into something else. So I might put a bedroom here, a bedroom here, and I'll work along this way, or I might go this way instead. Uh, there's various different things we can do. There's various different things. Um, so yes, a fridge and power. Power is going to be something we are going to need to consider and worry about and constantly be on the lookout for. Or just keep our eye on pretty much so we'll probably set up actually power generation here and I might I have an idea what I'm gonna do for this so I'm gonna set up a nice little structure a little, little window you may hear a washing machine in the background I do apologize uh, it is just washing day so what I'm doing here you probably want to fuck is he doing uh, there's batteries in this uh, hang on cancel 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 so you can store some power and what I'm doing is building a little um, Essentially a little battery room. Uh, so power, batteries. This will take some steel and components, which we don't have a lot of. I'm going to say this right now. We don't have a whole mess of these, so we're going to want to be careful. 
set up this here. I will put a power conduit here, here, here. What this is for is really for later. Uh, we're getting this set up as quickly as possible. Right now we have no need for power. It's not a thing that is needed. Um, ah, blue, come on. So you can actually click on people and you can see what they're doing. It's cutting oak tree. It'll give you a bit of information. So social. She really likes me because I was wooed by Mother God. So I did it. Um, she agreed. We, we, we spoke on the thing and we decided in a very British fashion that we should be lovers. And that is now a thing. Well done me. I'm happy. <laughs> Mad God's I didn't expect that to happen. Uh, Mad God's 26. Hummus 26. Blue is 22. Um, although we were in cryo sleep for a bit. So I believe... I'm technically 51, Hummel's technically 50, and Blue is technically 103. Technically. There's a lot of there's a lot of sleepy years in there. So now we got power generation, and which should, once we get that wire set up, we'll start pumping into here. Uh, oh, it actually already is. That's good. That's good. Um, just taking a quick victory sip. We'll start to build up our power reserves. We may need more. Might want to get some wind generation because obviously solar power relies entirely on the sun and there is there is a day-night cycle. So we're still planting all the crops. Or actually harvesting crops at this point. Oh, oh no. The berry bushes. We're just getting them out of the way. Uh, Hummel has no fuck. Hummel, build something. You fucking... No, he's training the monkey. Okay. So we can train the monkey to do certain things. Uh, the uh, Depending on the animal you get. Like some can haul stuff. Some can rescue people. The monkey can only attack. So uh, I'll take commands. I'll be assigned to a master. And yeah, Bond. So Ma it is it is Mad God's pet. I don't know how that was decided, but that's a thing. Hummel is doing. He's idle. I Hummel, you can build shit, can you not? Cannot work on blueprint. We are out of wood. That is why. Um. So work. Hummel can't cut trees. I'm not going to make him hunt because he only has a knife, which means he will get all fucked up. So we've run out of wood quite quickly. Um. Which is a bit dangerous because we kind of need stuff. So I'm going to get more orders uh, to chop wood. Choppy, choppy, chop. chop, chop. Uh, we haven't chopped all the wood we I've told them to chop just yet. But we will get to that point. Uh, right now, in terms... They will do this first. Th 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 pretty much in that exact order. So right now, growing is ahead of plant cutting. So they know they have to do that. Constructing is ahead, but they don't have the wood. So they're just working down the list until they get to the point they need to be at. Uh, once they're there, that's what they do. So, if they have the resources, they will build. If they don't, they can't. Hummel is... Fucking having a wander, because there's nothing he can do at the moment. Because we haven't built up to the point where... We're still very plant-based, and he's not a planty person. Uh, what can he do? So, yeah. He's he's not... He's very good with animals, so he's actually enjoying training. He can't, he's great. He likes building. But, unfortunately, we just can't build. Without all the correct resources. Oh, he actually he completed one of the trainings, so it now has obedience. Your master will be born, need animals four, have three. Okay, so Mad God's going to be a bit depressed now, uh, because wants to sleep with Blue. Uh, I don't think about it. Not Savannah's master. So because he's not skilled enough for animals, because I didn't think about that, um, that's another thing. We're now getting roofs, which are fantastic. Uh, so you can see, just building the little roof, saying, yeah, there we go. Hmm. So, what we're going to need now is a decent-sized bedroom for the new couple. Because, you know, couples need the, that. That's the thing. Ask your parents. Don't, I'm, not, I'm not dealing with this. <laughs> So I'm just trying to decide where I'm going to... Hmm. Assign that to prisoners. Cannot... Yeah, so until that wall's built, I can't assign... Right, so... <laughs> right, need to change that plan. Cancel this. So, uh, we're going to build... Because of this shitty... Can we build the walls here? We can't. Oh, we just can't... Uh, I, I thought that was like unbuildable on for some reason. I don't know. Um, I'm just mad, I suppose. Not enough wood. So we definitely don't have enough wood to do all this, but we're going to try. Okay, so just going to redo this again. 
probably get a bit sick of me doing the same thing over and over, but that's a thing. Very decent nice bedroom, very decent nice bedroom. Could just made that slightly bigger. There we go, wooden door. Wooden door. Awesome. So, then we get a wooden wall. As I said, this stuff is temporary uh, for the moment, just until we get everything up and going. Mad God should now start cutting trees. Well, everyone should start cutting trees. Mad God is up and eating his breakfast. Um, nim, 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 nim. All is well with the world. Hummel is training the monkey, as one does, needs defenses. Uh, Pirate Rage will start soon. So they're saying, hey, 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 J just to let you know, you may wish to defend yourselves. And that's very nice of the game. Thank you, game. So what we'll do is set up uh, some defenses. I'm not sure which way they're going to come from yet, so we will have to just deal with that, really. If they come this way, I'm pretty much fucked. <laughs> I may just set up a little sandbag here. For the moment, this is just um, for defensive purposes. Thankfully, we do have enough steel uh, to deal with this. Uh, to get these built fairly quickly. Uh, we finally got the prisoner room ready. So we'll set that for prisoners. That is for the Ur uh, room. We'll lock people in there and demand they do stuff for us. Uh, architect furniture. So what we're going to need to do is... I'm deconstructing that because really we didn't need it. Double bed. Wood. I could build it out of silver, but I'm not wasting my precious, precious silver. So, they could have a nice bedroom here. We'll put it there. Awesome. Let's also clear out anything in here. There we go. There we go. Really anything in here. If it's, if it's a plant, cut it. Visitor. A lore keeper for is visiting. His name is Galga. So there are actually other factions. I'll just pause this. So we got the Smiths Mesa. They are Outlander Town. These all have different layer uh, levels of technology. So we have one Outlander Town, two Outlander Towns. So they're, I think they're, they're decent technology. Uh, tribes, very primitive, tribe, very primitive, and pirates, dicks. <laughs> so one of the tribes don't like us, but the pirate bands hate everybody. So there's that. And. So this guy is visiting from Cambra Sierra, which is the tribe that likes us. Okay. And Mad God's currently plant cutting down all the plants in there. Just need a picture of it. Is need a meal source? I know, I know. So we need to build a kitchen of some description. Um, did that, rhyme? that didn't rhyme. No, I'm just being mad. Uh, I've just re realised now there is a massive problem with this layout in that. Shit could go quite wrong quite fast. So, what we will do is... Yeah, as you, as I said, this isn't, isn't like the planned kind of... How it's always going to be. But right now, this is... I need a door to get through this. I only want one front door, pretty much. I want to control access. Uh, getting that roof built. Wood wall, wood wall. So that guy just having to wander. Uh, can we trade with him? We can. Uh, but unfortunately, we won't be doing that this time around. So well, thank you very much for watching, gentlemen. I, of course, be Mad Goth, 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 M